Come on, you pack rat. You can't take all this with you. Product purity is our highest goal at Hayworth Labs. The decontamination procedure allows us to maintain the highest standard of purity. I'm so glad they're concerned about purity. You have been decontaminated. Please proceed into the lab. Not. Turn down the heat on the ruminating reaction until you've noted the temperature curve. I need to determine the explosive threshold temperature. Oh, Never mind. Just grab the temperature curve and pop it in the pneumatic. Oh, and I want samples of any residue on the explosive debris. That door looks rather sturdy. Please don't struggle. Right, dog. Please don't make a fuss. Work something out. No. The locks insisting they didn't create mutant mushrooms. I guess they created mutant mushrooms. I wonder if that's what started the plague.
just relax. Don't question it. I wonder which one of these controls the steam. Or do they both? I feel so chivalrous turning off that dangerous steam. If that is indeed what I did. Sneak past these gents without a fuss. This is the latest test formula. I think I'll just take this with me. Evidence or something. Permanent solution. Drive the subject insane. Oh, Lord. A big red button. I wonder what it opens. <sighs> I feel rather brilliant right now. Time I threatened to thrash Timmy Hargreaves because he said rotten things about Sally, and it turned out he had an older brother who'd been in the army, and he was waiting for me on my doorstep when I came home from school. Why would I remember that right now?
Sally was in on the scheme. No. Wait. She's being very nice about it, but she's not at all on board, is she? Hmm. The salamander seems to think Bullock's solution is a tad rash. Well, it's alarming, given what she considers reasonably cautious. Dr. Verloc is thinking very hard, sir. No visitors. The brominating reaction has caught fire. Sir, sorry to bother you, sir, but there's a fellow here who says the reaction tank is on fire again. I said no interruptions. Some of the byproducts are poisonous. He says it's poisonous, sir. Of course there are poisonous byproducts. Tell him to do whatever they did the last time. Dr. Verloc would like you to do whatever you did the last time. No one knows that. He's an imposter. Implement security protocol 187. Oh, yes, sir. That's my favorite protocol. I am full of the fury of the Lord, and I am right weary with holding back. Right, I read it with you. Judgeth thee, and he is angry every day. You shall be tormented with fire and sulfur in the presence of the Lamb. Ye shall not deceive me with empty words, for the wrath of God comes upon the sons of disobedience. You shall drink the wine of God's wrath, poured into the cup of his anger! You shall be tormented with fire and sulfur in the presence of the Lamb! You shall drink the wine of God's wrath, poured into the cup of his actually. anger! Oh, 
Please just lie down. It's better this way. Well, it's for knocking down my blocks in kindergarten. Was that supposed to be ironic? I thought you were only supposed to give someone a piece of your mind. Is that an original? Sergeant! Sergeant! Did you know half your workers are unconscious? The, the, the fumes issue will resolve itself. Look, I'm very busy recalculating the brominating reaction, so it is non-explosive. Unless you've got a magic formula for synthesizing joy out of bleach, whiskey, and saltpeter, get out! You're planning to lobotomize the people of Wellington Wells, aren't you? Lobotomize is a rather inflammatory metaphor, but yes, I have been asked to synthesize something stronger and more permanent than joy. Who are you? If you force people to have the emotions you want, then you've turned them into robots made out of meat! <laughs> and what do you think you are now? You are just the sum of the neuropeptides swirling in your bloodstream. You see, the current downer outbreak is just a mass chemical imbalance. But I believe I can adjust the internal hormonal settings so the people stay happy no matter what. You can't do that. They told the Wright brothers they couldn't fly, but they did. You can't do that. Oh, my lord. You're that downer they've been warning us about. I'm actually just here for a bottle of cod liver oil. What makes you think I'll give it to you? This bottle of your new formula. If I smash it and you breathe the fumes, will it make you happy forever and always? You mustn't. It makes the patient insane. Ha! Now you can't move until I take my hand off this button. Oh, shit. Where's the bloody cod liver oil Sally wanted? This is the cleanest office I've ever seen. Hello. I wonder if he has a secret lair. Well, he's just the sort who would. Sally Boyle's gonna come live with us for a bit. Sally Boyle? Why? Because her mum poisoned the whole bloody rest of her family, Arthur. And because we've got a spare bed in the attic now till Percy comes back from Germany. She's your age, you know? She's an idiot. Well then, you two should get along beautifully. Dr. Verloc seems to be quite the collector. Where's the fucking cod liver oil? And thank you, Sally, for another wonderful adventure.
go out. What's going on this conveyor belt? <laughs> Possibly me. Flush the chemicals. Oh, you're not bloody mule. Pick what you can carry easily. Drain? To where? The river? Might be a way out. If I don't mind pausing in the river. Not that anything's alive in it now. Lovely. I've never seen so many hooks in my entire life. doing this. <sighs> Thought you were in Boarded up. No more, Mr. Nice Guy. Oh, I'll have to break in somehow. Maybe I can find some answers inside. If I can get in somehow.
Would you like this? of transit. So? Sally? Salamander? If she's not here, I swear to God I'll kill her. Hi. I got it. Your precious cod liver oil. Oh, you're a lifesaver. It's a bloody souvenir. God, it's awful. Have you got my letter of transit then? Arthur, we're practically the only two people in this entire city not stoned out of our minds on joy. How are you holding up? Do you care? How are you going to get out? Why won't you just give me the fucking letter of transit? Oh, it's always what you want. Always what you need. Every little Sally whim. Bloody cod liver oil. Do you really think I'm that awful? What, just because you fucked my dad while you were living in our house, in my mum's bed? <sighs> I'm sorry. <sighs> Look, I don't hate you. In the strangest way, you're completely innocent. 